I'm Baruch Fischoff from uh, Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, and I study decision making. It's a member of our family being have a, a procedure proposed to this member of our, of our family and saying, what's the evidence that it worked? And having this very distinguished, uh, very well-known um, uh, physician stomp out of the room and saying, sometimes the patient needs to be reasonable. And this was a procedure that subsequently was proven to have no validity. I study how people make decisions. I've worked with uh, Lisa Schwartz and Steve Voloshin, who are among the organizers, for a long time in developing their drug fact box, which is intended to convey, to help structure decisions for people so they know they've always got alternatives, they understand there's risk and benefits, that there's uncertainty, that you can put numbers around them. In fact, without numbers, you don't know what people are talking about. My own field, the psychology of decision-making, where there are people who have... Um, created a meme that people are stupid. They're innumerate, they can't understand technical information, they're driven by their emotions. So I've tried to help them and demonstrate that you can get the information part right. And if you get the information part right, sometimes the emotional part falls into, into line. Sometimes it's not that people make bad decisions or can't understand things because they're emotional, but they get emotional because they're not being leveled with. Scientifically, it's something of a frontier. So we've worked on how to communicate numbers, how to communicate the meaning of side effects. You've never felt, you've never been the person who's had this procedure done on you. You've never, you have to figure out how you will feel if the procedure doesn't, uh, doesn't work and you've assumed responsibility. You want to understand what these low probabilities are. You need to understand how good the evidence is. I think we've made a lot of progress on on that part of the communication problem, I think it's next to impossible even for physicians to find the information that you need in order to make decisions. You need quantitative information. You need to know how good the, good the data are. Sometimes some of that information is hidden in plain sight, but I think much of it is just not available at all. So having an authoritative statement that physicians can provide their patient to patients, that interested patients can read themselves. Mm -hmm.